Count it down. Let's count it down, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Sambo 3, baby. After all these years, after all this time, to finally make it Sambo 3. Ryo, this way. Uh, okay. The Shenmue series buries awesome QTE sequences, uh, amazing music, genuinely interesting open worlds under just layers and layers of monotonous bullshit and horrible, horrible voice acting. Years ago, I was Chinese. Is that so? Thank you. See you. But if you can put up with Shenmue's bullshit, you'll discover two of the most authentic open worlds that really immerse you in Asian culture and the most unintentionally funny games ever made. Shenmue 3 will be the story you have waited for, but this Kickstarter will be real success. Stand in my way. Nintendo 63. Nintendo 64. My puppet body is ready. Huh? The division was hit with a graphical downgrade as usual. Uh, it looks great for kids, but I just don't see the multiplayer holding up. I know a lot of you out there are excited to play our next big title, Madden NFL 16 when it launches on August the 25th. Go Madden. Right now, Blizzard's strategy is copy something successful and put their own spin on it and polish it up to a really high standard. Everybody loves Hearthstone. Uh, I've actually come to appreciate the 12 to 20 minute matches of Heroes of the Storm. You know, it takes 20 minutes for me to get into a ranked match on League. Overwatch is Blizzard's take on Team Fortress 2. Right now, there's 12 classes. Uh, good luck balancing all those. You got Monkey Man, Engineer, Iron Man, Hawkeye, Spider-Man. You guys can't do it. So let's say they're like game groups. Nobody knows. Please give me the alpha so I can play the Now many years ago, Square Enix released a groundbreaking title that went on to become one of the most beloved games in PlayStation and video game history. Tonight, I am proud to announce that by popular demand, we have a very special treat for everyone. Go Madden. But I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser. And already the sequel to Overwatch with Firewatch. In this game, you play as a fireman who got an axe and found a turtle. Then he chopped a tree and went in the woods. Then he jumped over a log. So don't tell me this game isn't good. Fallout 3 is my favorite game from Bethesda, mostly because it refuses to take itself seriously. It faces you with this grim, horrible wasteland, but the humor and the freedom make it so endearing and fun to explore. I love how it lets me do quests the way I want to do them. You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. 300 caps? Interesting. You dirty coward. The settlement building feature, we've seen this in a hundred survival games last year, but now they're really running with the idea. Your town will get populated with AIs, you'll get attacked by raiders, you have to build defenses, you have to build crops. <laughs> Imagine playing a Morpheus game while four of your friends are inside the same virtual world. This was by far the most awesome thing I saw at E3, but that's what DICE does. They make these awesome gameplay trailers, you know, where the most exciting, most cinematic match of all time happens and nobody gets kicked out by Punk Buster. The real game will not be anywhere near as exciting as this. The Battlefield series has gone like this. Good? Eh. What? Come on. What the fuck? I want more than anything for this game to be amazing. But EA is the Emperor, and DICE is Darth Vader, and they both die. So I don't know how they're gonna make this game good. Fuck 
you, EA. Hey, Fox, <laughs> do a barrel roll. Yeah, come on, Fox, do a barrel roll. Yeah. Barrel roll? I can do better than that. Check this out. Entering Corneria's orbit. Finally, a true sequel to Star Fox 64. This is what the fans have been asking for all along, Nintendo. Star Fox 64, such a short but perfect game, you know, like Tony Hawk. Just, just oh no, not the Wii U gamepad. No! Get that! Go Madden. They have been making this game for eight years now. It was supposed to be one of the tentpole games for the PS3. But it never came out, and it just seemed like this game ceased to exist. Then out of nowhere, this year at E3, they show up with a new gameplay video. And I'm excited for it all over again, baby. This is... You get a big ass owl cat. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my hands to, Give me the game. Just give me the goddamn game. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is the only game on this list that I've actually played already. The Alpha would spawn me in a wall. I couldn't play with friends. Sometimes the matches wouldn't even start. What monkey? The game is an Alpha. Surely these glitches will be solved. Don't count on it. This is Ubisoft we're talking about. Developers have become increasingly content with putting out broken games before they're finished to rake in the money because it's become the industry standard. Brokenness aside, this is a Tenth shooter with unique ideas. The levels are really destructible. You have these little RC cars that spy on the enemy team, which encourages players to communicate and function like an actual SWAT team. I had a lot of fun with this game when it actually worked, but this game is being made by. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know where I go. I don't know who I am. I don't know what you do in this game, but it's really big and it has really big dinosaurs and you shoot really big spaceships and everything is procedurally generated. And it's the most crazy and ambitious game since Spore. Uh oh. This is the new game from the guy who made Katamari Damacy. From what I understand, the goal of the game is to get donuts and toilets and sushi rolls all to hold hands and then explode them into space to capture the attention of alien species like the lawnmower or the coffee cup. You start out with this little hub world and as you attract other creatures, your hub world continues to expand and it's got co-op and each little character has their own song and then when you bring them together, their music combines and everything about this this game just sounds amazing to me. All these years, subconsciously, I've wanted to play a game where I can climb up a tree as a toilet. I just didn't know it until I saw this at E3. One of the things that Rare has done consistently over three decades is evolve as a studio. Rare has redefined genres with its own special formula, and we're ready to do that again. This is by far the most ambitious game Rare has ever created. Meanwhile, these guys just quit Rare to go and develop their own Banjo-Kazooie-inspired 3D platformer called Ukulele. You hear that music? That's Grant Kirkhope, baby. He's back. A lot of these guys worked on the original banjo, and if they can just capture half of the magic of that game, then ukulele will blow everybody's dick off to the moon and back. Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh. 
Don't mind me, I'm just counting the seconds until the next Zelda Wii U comes out because this game is gonna be my shit. These are the most revered, prestigious games and they've been doing them forever since the Super Nintendo. These have been the highest budget, craziest ass and here I am with an exclusive first look at the new Zelda Wii U. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser. Do I really need to explain myself with this one? They put out a $40 demo disc for this game and people bought the shit out of it. These guys have worked their asses off for years to deliver an uncompromisingly jam-packed game with all the craziest shit they could think of. And this is gonna be amazing. That's not my opinion. That's just a fact of life. That's it! Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her any. 